Hello everyone. Welcome to our project in Tripoli 304 Digital Electronics Laboratory. In this project, we will process an input image and we will follow five steps for that process. First step is we will take an input image. This image can be in any format. That is, it can be of JPG, JPEG, PNG or bitmap format. In Verilog HDL, direct image files cannot be processed. That is why first we will extract the image information as hexadecimal format using MATLAB. We will use MATLAB to process the information of the image file, input image file. So we will run a MATLAB code and that will generate a hexadecimal file for us. And in that file, the pixel information will be stored as a hexadecimal data. There are four operations in our Xilinx uh, Verilog HDL code. There will be four operations named brightness, invert operation, black and white operation, and threshold operation. We will do one operation at a time. And for performing these operations, we will use uh, that hexadecimal file generated earlier as our input. Then we will simulate the out, uh, we will simulate the uh, Verilog code. And finally, we will get the output. This is our input image, which is in JPG format, and we want to process it. And for that, we will run a MATLAB code, and that will generate a hexadecimal file. The dimension of our image is 768 by 512. So this is the number of pixels. That means the total number of pixels here is 768 times 512 times 3. So this is the MATLAB code and with the help of this code, we will generate a hexadecimal file from our input image. Okay. So uh, in the first line, the MATLAB code image read, we will uh, extract all the image informations and there are two for loops. And with the help of these two for loops, we will generate an array where the uh, information, uh, pixel informations are extracted. and then we used fopen command by which we will open a file input.hex and there we will write the information in hexadecimal format which is specified by percentage x now we will run this matlab code and see the output As you can see, all the pixel information are stored here and the data present here all are in hexadecimal format. You all know the highest pixel value can be 255 and if we convert it in hexadecimal format, the highest value can be possible is FF. So all the pixel values are stored in hexadecimal format in two digits. So that's all about our input uh, output after the first uh, first two steps. Now we will use this hexadecimal file as our input for the next step. There, with the help of Verilog code, we will process our images. So uh, what we will do is we will copy this inside the image processing folder. In our previous step, we have seen how to convert a JPG file to a hex file using MATLAB code. Now, using that hex file, we will, using Verilog code, we will process that hex file. So, in our project, we have mainly four modules, namely image read, 
image read, image write, parameter, and cache based bench simulation. We have these four very log files. First, we'll go to first we'll explain the image image read file. So we have defined some of some parameters, namely height, white. These are the dimensions of the image. Next, input dot hex. It is the hex hexadecimal file we have generated through with, with the MATLAB code. Next, there are two delays, which we will see when we will explain the state diagram. Next, next there are three values, value, threshold, and sign. Value is used when the brightness is increased or decreased. Threshold is used when the thresh threshold operation is done. When the sign value of sign is zero, then the brightness is, is increased decreased and when the, the its value is one the brightness is increased now for the ease of our explanation um, we, we will go to we will go to the state the state diagram of our code so now we will open the state diagram that we will use throughout our code this is our state diagram we see there are four state namely ideal state vsync state async state and data state when we are in idle state and starting signal is not still given then we remain in the idle state but when the starting pulse is given then we shift toward towards the second state namely vsync state and when we reach to vsync state a flag value named control data run becomes one and when this flag value is one a counter named control vsync count starts counting until it reaches to a value name uh, to a value a startup delay so when it doesn't reach up to a up to startup delay it still remains in the vsync state but when it becomes when the counter value is equal to the startup delay we shift to the third state or async state when we reach to the async state Another flag value named control async run is one. And when this flag value is one, a counter named control async count starts counting until it reaches to a value async delay. When it doesn't reach to the reach to the value async delay, it we remain in the async state. And when when the counter value is uh, control control async counter value is equal to async delay, we shift to the fourth state or data state. When we reach to the data state, another flag value named data run is one. And when data, when data run is one, another counter named data count starts counting until it reaches to a certain value. When we, when we see the code, it will become more clear to us. And when a complete image is read, the control down value is, becomes one. And when control down value becomes one, we again shift to idle state. But if but if we if a con complete image is not read, then we either either remain in the fourth data state or we shift to the third state. When we see the code, it will become more clear to us. So we go back to our code. Hmm. This is the function readMemH. It, the, the work of this fu the function is to read the hexadecimal file we have created by the MATLAB code and to store the data in a array named total memory. We should keep in mind that uh, the, for each, each pixel, there are three values and all the, all the informations are kept in the total memory. So, so there is a necessity to split up the R, G, and B data values to three separate arrays. So uh, the following segments of code explain, explains this. When the starting pulse is given, when the starting pulse is given, the uh, value stored in the total memory is split up to three separate vectors named uh, uh, named red, green, and blue. Uh, there are three separate array. We keep the values to we keep the values to these arrays. 
the next segment explains how to generate a static pulse. Now, if we go back um, to next, uh, these are the code segments that we we have explained in the in the state diagram. Uh, so I will not explain this further. Uh, these code segments uh, are already explained in the in the uh, state diagram. So one thing to notice that when we are we are explaining we were explaining the state diagram we we have said that when we reach to a state a corresponding flag value is one becomes one and and then the corresponding counter starts at started counting so um, this um, this code segment explains the flag flag value when we reach to a state, the corresponding run value is one. And, and this code segment corresponding counter starts counting. I, I hope it is clear to some extent now. And the following code segments explains how the row, row, row value and column value is updated. So the following segments are the image processing <coughs> operations. So we um, we have previously said that we basically we basically done four operations, namely brightness brightness increase or decreasing. Uh, secondly, uh, invert operation. For, uh, thirdly, threshold operation, and fourthly, black and white operation. So brightness brightness operation is um, basically um, increasing. Or decreasing the brightness. If we increase the pixel value, then um, then the brightness will be increased, and and the and if we decrease the pixel value, the the brightness will be reduced. So there is a parameter parameter named sign. When the sign value the value of sign is equal to one, then the brightness in, is increased. But when the sign value is zero, then the brightness is reduced. So our next operation is invert operation. Uh, in this operation, we invert the pixel values. So the brighter part becomes darker and the, the darker part becomes the brighter. Our third operation is black and, um, black and white operation. And our fourth operation is threshold operation. Threshold operation is implemented throughout this course. Uh, in threshold operation, we have to keep in mind that there are only two possible values. When when the pixel values um, are above the threshold value, we set it to the highest value of 255. And when it is below the threshold value, we set the pixel value to zero. So um, we have discussed the image read file in details. Now we, um, we will go to image like file. Image like module. Uh, Actually, and this module is very simple. Um, our main task is to um, our main task is to um, generate the output can be fine. So we take um, we take each well each processed value created earlier in the image image dot file uh, to generate the output BMP file. So this is this is the this is the code for image like file and so we have we have discussed the image slide module next we will shift to the test bench simulation so the it is it is actually our main module uh, which connects all the all the four all the four modules so in this module we um, we defined some values named named H clock value, H clock value, or the H reset and value. So all these are defined in this module. So these values are used in the image, image the module or image like module, module. So now we are at stage four and we have to select the operation that we want to perform. Here we can see the four operation. First one is brightness operation, second one is invert operation, third one is black and white operation, and the last one is threshold operation. First of all, 
I want to perform the brightness operation and for doing this operation we have to uncomment this now we have to select two parameter value from the image read module here we can see first one is value this value is for the brightness operation this value means how much amount of brightness we want to change and the second one is sign so here there will be uh, only two value of sign first one is zero and second one is one so here zero means uh, decrease and on means increase that means that uh, if we want to decrease the brightness we will use the, the value of sign is zero and if we want to increase the brightness then we will use the sign the value of sign is one for example we are using the value is 50 and the sign is uh, zero now I will save this file and simulate this so for simul simulation we have to go TB simulation module and then simulate this file And the simulation is running here uh, we have to select the value of runtime for this project the minimum value of runtime have to be 6 millisecond so we have to use the value equal to 6 or greater than 6 but we cannot use the value less than 6 here I am using uh, 6 millisecond and then I will simulate it the simulation is again running and now it is completed and now I will close this window and I will check the output I will find it in the project folder here the output image and if we see the input image then we can see the difference between these two images so here the input image and next on is output image we can clearly see that the brightness of the image is decreased so this works as we expected now we want to increase the brightness of the image for doing this we have to change the sign so in the image read module we have to select the sign value is 1 and then we will save it and then again we will run the simulation and again we have to select the value of runtime so again we will use the value is 6 millisecond ok it's done now I will cl close this window and see the output image so here is the output image and previous one is input image so we can clearly see that the brightness of the image is increased now we want to do the invert operation so again we have to go to the parameter module and we have to comment the brightness operation and uncomment the invert operation because at a time we can only perform only on operation and now we have to save this file now we will simulate this
so here again we will select the runtime okay now i will close this window and check the output here we can see the inverted version of our input image okay next we will do the black and white operation for the doing this we have to comment the invert operation again and uncomment the black and white operation and again we have to save this file and again we have to simulate this so again we can see the output and it is the black and white version of the main image now we will want to perform the last operation and this is the threshold operation so again we will go to the main code and from the parameter module we will comment the black and white operation and we will uncomment the threshold operation and for doing the threshold operation we have to select the value of threshold so we will select it from image read module and here the threshold value is 90 we can change this value i am using this value and then i will simulate this we will go to tv simulation module and then simulate this module here again we have to select the runtime and it's done and we will close this window and finally check the output and we can see the output image so uh, this work as we expect expected that's all our project and thank you very much for watching this video